Hey everybody, in this review, we are gonna be going over the Lensgo LWM-308C. That name is too long. Okay, so let's just real quick go over what you're gonna be getting in the box. Right out of the box, you're gonna be getting one transmitter, another receiver, uh, two USB uh, charging cables, which is nice because you can obviously charge them at the same time. And notice these are micro USB cables, not USB-C like you would probably hoped for. You're gonna get two TRS cables. One of them is gonna be just a normal standard TRS to TRS, and another one is a TRS to TRRS. A lav mic with a three and a half millimeter end, uh, the microphone collar clip, the windproof sponge as they call it in the description, a cold shoe, and the leather case which we're gonna have to talk about for a minute. So I'm gonna give you three reasons why I feel this is actually a really good microphone to buy. And just to let you know, I am using this microphone for this whole video, what you're hearing me on now, is the LensGo microphone. I do have it right here, clipped down. Um, and it does go, it's not going directly to the camera. I actually have it hooked up into a Mix Pre 3. The preamps on my mic on my camera are terrible, so I always use something in the middle, whether that be a uh, Zoom H1N, or in this case, it's the Mix Pre 3. So I've been testing this microphone out all day, trying to make sure that I put it through different scenarios to see where I feel this microphone is gonna kind of shine the most. And I feel like I've come up with three different uh, reasons why you should definitely be getting this microphone. So the first reason why I'm gonna say you should definitely get this microphone is the batteries. These microphones have two internal batteries. They last about six hours, which is really, really good, um, especially on something this small. I recently reviewed a microphone that had two AA batteries, and it is nice to be able to just swap out your batteries and keep going. It is super annoying to have to make sure you always have the batteries kind of in your bag or keeping them on hand, actually, because of that microphone I actually brought in like two, uh, 10 uh, AA batteries just to keep them here because I didn't want to go through that again. But it is nice with these microphones that you don't have to worry about that problem. So the second reason is the range. According to LensGo, they said it'll go about 180 feet, maybe something around there. I would not go that distance. Um, according to all the tests that I've seen and tests that I've done, really one room length seems to be the safest scenario. Um, this actually, and, and I want to say one room length, I mean like 50 feet. 50 feet and under is you're gonna have no problem. I have seen some people do tests where they're going 100 feet out and all that, but I really would I would recommend keeping it in a very safe environment. It's really gonna work the best when it's a uh, line of sight, so nothing getting in the way, no walls, and keep in mind that this isn't Bluetooth. It's uh, it's one of those frequency ones. I don't know the actual name for it, but that's how it connects to each other. So it has different channels it goes through and all that. So you can choose up to, I believe, 20 different channels, which is very nice. And that also will help determine how far the signal strength is. But I wouldn't really worry, if you're getting a microphone like this for hundred bucks, you really just want it to work and you want it to work well without any hiccups. And to do that, you're gonna wanna stay relatively close within, again, one room length where you can see it, nothing's in the way and you'll be fine. One other thing to keep in mind with this type of microphone, um, because it's not Bluetooth, there is interference problems. I noticed that pretty quickly when I put, I don't know if it was a cable or a cell phone or something right next to it and I did hear something. Um, and then when I pulled it away, it was fine. So just keep that in mind if you are going to be interviewing someone with this, you don't wanna have the microphone like right up against their cell phone and you do have to kind of keep that in mind. It's not a negative thing, it's just something to be aware of. So the last reason is the cost. The cost on this microphone is only a little bit over $100. Very, very good price point for what you're getting. Um, the build quality is very good. It's like hard plastic. The shape is kind of interesting. It looks like an old cell phone that you want to just like flip open, um, but it is very, very good. Um, you won't take it out and feel like, oh my goodness, what is this like really crappy plastic? It is actually really good materials. Okay, so one last thing I wanna go over is use cases. If you've seen any of my reviews, you know I usually try and put some type of a scenario where I think this microphone would, would shine. So for this one, I actually think broadcasting is really, really good for this microphone. And when I say broadcasting, I don't mean like, you know, Twitch streaming and stuff like that. I just mean you're talking to your family on Zoom and you walk away a lot, or maybe you're doing something where your iPad's like 10 or 15 feet away from you, or your computer is, and you just wanna like, up that microphone game just a little bit, not like spend hundreds of dollars, 
but just something where you can walk away from your microphone and still get good, or walk away from your iPad or computer and still get good, clean audio. This is perfect for that. Oh, real quick, this is like the weirdest thing ever. They included a leather case, which I don't know why they would do this. I, I would rather them not include it and put the price down a little bit more. But this, this case is really weird looking. Um, again, if you wanna rock an old school leather case, then I, I guess that gives it a little bit of flair, a little bit of a protection, I guess. But I would not be using that. I think it looks crazy. Okay guys, that's it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I was able to help. Uh, once again, I do 100% recommend this microphone, especially at the price point. I think you'll be very happy. And I will catch you guys in the next review.